Hey guys, how you doing? Captain Danny Hampson here. Got myself a nice size little hog snapper. Gonna bring you through my particular technique of filleting this fish. I use this technique for all snapper, grouper, a wide variety of fish. Obviously there's many different ways you can fillet a fish. No wrong way as long as it ends up on the table and no bones. So first thing you want to do is make sure you're on a good surface. Um, you know, you ideally want a cutting board. I'm making the best of what I have using the top of a cooler, but any you know good solid surface where the fish isn't going to slip around too much. I like to wash the fish off as well. Makes it a little less slimy, a little easier to control. So this is what I like to do. I like to lift up the fish's pectoral fin here. Kind of gives me a good point of reference. And then I kind of cut back because the scales along the fish run this way. So if you make a slight little incision back this way, just easier to get in, especially on a real scaly fish. So from there, I cut back to the hind fins. That's going to kind of alleviate a majority of the rib cage, almost all of it. So I kind of just make that first incision, make the cut, and I'm not going too deep right here. Okay, I don't go too deep. I only go about that much of the knife until I get here to the tail where I go all the way through and split it out. So from there, I like to spin the fish around so he's facing me straight on like here. I already have him outlined here. So basically, you're just outlining the fish right now. So here, I like to make my outline deeper though. I'm going all the way to the spine here hitting spine with each stroke. You'll feel the spine takes a little getting used to. I have my hand for, pressed firmly on top, trying to keep things safe. So I just went all the way to the spine there. A good way to check to make sure you got a good cut there is you can cut back along the spine edge. And that ensures you're gonna get all the meat out of there. From there, I flip the fish back like this. I take my knife on a small fish like this. This isn't a monster by any means. I just grab the fish here and I work my knife back along his spine. You can hear it almost as it goes through. And I cut up. I have a beautiful filet. Rib cage was there. Good amount of meat. Not bad for doing on top of a cooler. So I flip the fish over. I'm doing the same exact thing, kind of going back against the scales to make my incision from the head quarter back to that hind quarter, right under that pectoral fin. And I'm outlining. This time I'm outlining on the opposite side. I'm outlining over here. And then on the other side is where I'll make my deep incision. Split the tail just the same. Over here, I'm going to go a little deeper. And then the fish is all outlined. And I could run it right up his spine and make sure I got all that meat. So I just kind of briefly cleaned up my area a little bit. You don't want to have too much blood on here. You don't want to be sliding around. And now I'm going to bring you guys to the skinning process. And the skinning process on a fish like this, it has real scaly skin, real strong skin, not like the thin skin of a mackerel or something like that. They're super easy to skin. All I do here is I take my knife and I cut right at the tail. I don't worry too much about this meat right here at the end. It's not going to matter. Once I get to there, I like to bring the filet out to the edge. I keep my knife at an angle. My knife's down against the skin. Like I said, this skin is real scaly. It's very tough. You're not going to break through. And I just work the skin back and let my knife do the work. You have a beautiful fillet. From there, you can see I still have a little rib cage here. Cut the rib cage out. Always, I always do one last check for bones. Feel around it. Now I'm going to do the same thing with the next fillet. Make my incision here at the tail, cut so I can get a gripping point, pull the fillet back towards me, keeping the knife at that nice angle. Got a little wave action going on here. <laughs> cut out the rib cage, give the fillet a quick feel. All right, so now we got our two fillets, no bones, nothing but pure white delicious hogfish meat. Where's the frying pan? We're about to have us some dinner. Yamaha boats, engineered for excellence. Powered by the gold standard Yamaha marine engines, the most reliable on the water with spacious layouts boasting more usable space than competing boats, and a total package of features at no additional cost. Now is the time to become a Yamaha boat owner. Yamaha, the number one brand on the water.